How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to a very special Dragon Faber video and as you guys can tell from the title already, this video is going to be about the top 10 things that I want to see in Dragon Faber. Okay, it doesn't mean I want to see them uh, next year but you know, hopefully we can see them soon enough and uh, keep this in mind that this list is entirely my opinion only. I did not take opinion from uh, any other people so if you want to bash on me uh, for whatever I want to see then go ahead. If you disagree with me, let me know down in the comments below. In a respectful manner on uh, why you agree with me or why you don't agree with me for some of these things that I really want to see and these things they are not limited to stuff that uh, we already have in the game they could be bug fixes they could be small little things that changes up the mechanics a little bit they could be completely new things that we have not seen before so watch on to find out what are the top 10 things that I really want to see in Dragon Fable to kickstart the list at the number 10 spot, I want a house item that lets me buy food. That's right guys, I know it is pretty convenient for you to just walk up to Ruby the Adventure Chef in Falcon Reach Book 3 and buy it. I mean, most people have Falcon Reach set to their hometown anyway, but there are other food items inside the game as well. What am I talking about? I am mainly talking about the food items that you can get from the forum inside of the... Uh, travel map right here so you have to travel all the way here and not only that i have to continuously walk walk and move down here and then i have to go all the way here before i can buy the uh, red green and yellow fruits i'm not saying remove the price have the price still be one defender medal i think that's a good cost okay maybe you can have a house item that possibly causes dragon coins i was thinking like a fridge of sorts and then you can buy it put it in your house and then you can buy every single food item inside of the game in that one place it's more of a convenience item not so much uh of it really helping anything but it just helps to save time and just makes it less of a hassle to get all of the uh, food items that you want for any in challenges and at the number 9 spot, I want to talk about the potion chest house item. That's right, we are going to talk about another house item. This one is an item that is already inside the game. So you can buy the house item from Cicero's Orb, uh, buy house items, dragon coin shops, stuff. You can scroll all the way down here and your potion chest should be... There we are. Come on, where's the potion chest? There. Okay, so you can buy this item for 100 dragon coins and each time you click on it, it refills 2 health and 2 mana potions. The thing is, we can now have up to 5 health and 5 mana potions. You can see here, uh, if I use up all my health and mana potions and I click on the chest, it refills only 2. Okay, now we can get up to 5 health and mana potions for non-dragon amulet holders. Obviously, the only way for you to get 5 health and mana potions is the health potions you can get through the cloak scrap. Uh, artifact from using the final skill in any of your base class okay and for the mana potions you have to go through the exaltia tower okay but uh, most people what they do for dragon amulet holders nowadays they just travel to the forum they have to walk all the way here and go up to this guy and you can buy up to five health and mana potions total for 2000 gold each i think that by increasing the amount that you can refill for the house item it would be a pretty nice touch it makes it less of a hassle to travel all the way here just to get five house uh five potions and you can get everything inside of your house you know it just makes everything very convenient and on top of that this is a dragon coin item after all so i feel that giving two potions only doesn't really hold much value but if you can make it give 5 potions, not only does it save 2000 gold for dragon amulet holders who have this item, but on top of that, it is also a more convenient way of refilling your potions rather than traveling all the way to the forum in book 3. And at the number 8 spot, I want non-DA players to have more guests. That's right guys, so this list is not just exclusively for DA players, though that is majority of the players inside of this game. There's still also quite a fair bit of players who do not have a dragon amulet inside of this game and what i really want is uh for more guesses to be made available to non-da holders say for example uh this is a da only guess this is a da only guess this is a da only guess this this uh book tree artics is uh nightera is there is so many guesses that are locked to dragon amulet and they are some of the better or say more powerful guesses if uh non dragon amulet holders have access to these guesses it will make 
the infights for them a lot easier and it will also make some infights a lot more doable okay i know this because i've been coming up with the free to play in series as you guys know you guys can go ahead and check out the playlist i will link the card uh, to the playlist uh, right up on the top right hand corner of your screen right now so if ndas are able to get have access to some of these uh, better guesses then they would be able to do the in in uh, not only easier way but also they'll be able to do more challenges <laughs> Now, the seventh item on the list that I really want to see in Dragon Favor is removing the Soul Weaver restriction for Aegis invite. Just look at this. I am not a Soul Weaver, so I cannot invite Aegis to my party. This is really, really a huge hassle. I can see why they added that restriction. It's more of a law thing uh, rather than a like a mechanic thing or any convenience thing like it just makes it very inconvenient i have to go and equip my soul weaver armor here before i can actually invite ages as a guest which is uh in my opinion is just very annoying and if i don't want to use the soul weaver armor then i have to change out of it after i invite ages so there is one thing that i hope that the staff can change that uh makes it you know just more convenient for players like there is literally no reason you have to be in a soul weaver armor in order to invite ages other than law purposes which is okay i mean you can say that uh for law reasons you need to be a soul weaver but it just doesn't help in any way and just makes it a huge hassle for people to invite ages into their party if they want to use ages <laughs> for number six i want to talk about selling rares that's right guys so adventure quest wars already has this system whereby you can buy back any of the rare items that you sold off before but we don't have this option inside of uh the older classic games like uh, adventure quest like dragon fable like mech quest you don't have this feature i really like to see this feature inside of dragon fable because i think it's really helpful i think some people they probably sold their stuff on accident before and probably regret it i don't know if it's possible to get it back if you send a support email to artix okay maybe they may make one-time uh exceptions for you if you're if you've been a good player or something like that but you know uh i would like to see this uh in place because people have definitely regretted selling stuff stuff that they didn't want to sell in the past and having this system really makes it uh you know a lot better like if it's a rare item and you sold it by accident you should have the right to you know buy it back since you've already bought it in the first place maybe you can uh put some sort of cost on it like maybe not make it free like adventure quest was give it some sort of cost so people really think twice before selling their item make people pay the price for accidentally or purposely selling off their item if they want to get it back maybe uh, make them buy it back at half price or even full price what the heck you know uh, the staff can work this out if they really really want to do it and i think it is a great system that will benefit many of the older players who may have sold off some rares and probably regret it in the future Alright, so now we're halfway through the list and the fifth item that I want to see inside of Dragon Favor is more guesses to be added to the Book of Law. Um, what I'm saying is guesses like Book 2 Artix, Book 1 Artix, Sir Leon more notably, okay. Maybe other guesses like uh, Wallet. Wallet is probably an overpowered guess, I don't really know. I haven't seen him outside of uh, any of the quests that lets you play as him temporarily so maybe not warwick but sir leon is one guess i really like to see in this book because it is such a hassle to uh add him to your party you have to go to travel map and then you have to travel here green guard like there's just so many clicks involved you have to go all the way to the shears and then have to run all the way up like it is so much time needed to invite sir leon and sir leon is probably one of the best guesses inside the game he has and entire full 14 skills he's essentially a base warrior uh slightly more powerful version with his um final skill so yeah you have to go all the way here just to invite him i hope to see more guesses being added to the book of law and i think that will really encourage people to use uh more of a beast master build we don't really see beast master builds inside of dragon fable much sure there's pirate and guess uh beast master builds but other than that build there's really not much else going on for the rest and people really only invite guests uh for that particular build or if they want to farm go and exp quickly if you guys want to know what is the most efficient way of farming go and exp then you guys can go ahead and check out my guide to farming go and exp in south dragon fable for 2020 i will link the video up to the card up above so one thing that i really want to see for number five on the list is for more guesses to be added to the book of law 
number four on the list we have a mq class that's right guys we had a guardian class for people who have a guardianship inside of adventure quest classic but we do not have anything in game for people who are star captains inside of another one of their uh, classic games which is mech quest i get that mech quest has been discontinued uh, for a long while already it hasn't received updates in like I don't god knows how many years and it's pretty much a pretty dead game now but you know uh, I still hope that mech quest can be revitalized one day and uh, not to digress away from dragon Faber, but I think it'll be nice if they'll add a mech quest class inside of dragon Fable. so since they already have one for guardian then why not do one for mech quest sure you can argue that uh, we have uh, the whole Mialos thing going on now which ties in with Mech Quest We have Cordana and we also have the uh, Ancient Exosuit Armor Which is technically a uh, Mech Quest class but the Shadow Cypher Maybe have a class that you can only get uh, if you have a membership in Mech Quest Similar to the Guardian class and then you know have some very unique training requirements So we have a Guardian class but I do not have a Mech Quest class And I know the, cla the staff actually said that uh, the Epoch will be the last class inside of Dragon Faber. Of course, that is not including the Flash Fever class, but you know, I hope that maybe if they have time in the future, they may decide to design a Mech Quest class and then it will probably uh, encourage people to probably buy a membership in some Mech Quest and possibly, uh, just possibly, you know, reigniting the game. Who knows, you know? Now we are getting into our top 3 Okay, for number 3, I would like to see a return of limited time shop items I know it is called LTS for a reason It is called limited time shop items for a reason But there are some items that people missed out on and they really want back Okay, one of these examples is the Forgotten Gloom Glaive This is probably one of the most sought after items inside of the entire game Anybody who has played the game for a long time knows how good this weapon is Not just in terms of stats but just look at its artwork It is a freaking beauty guys I'm not saying uh, return it every year like a seasonal but maybe have it return one time you know and probably reskin it or uh, rename it so that original owners you know don't feel too pissed off that their rare is suddenly not that valuable anymore maybe you can recolor the whole thing or you can add a legendary tag in front of the uh, name so like similar to what Adventure Quest did uh, Adventure Quest Classic, okay, add a legendary tag in front of the name So original owners have a legendary Forgotten Gloom Glaive But for people who got it later, they can still get the same weapon Maybe a slightly different artwork But you know, with the same stats and the same amazing design I think that uh, will honestly satisfy a lot of people And make a lot of people happy Not just Forgotten Gloom Glaive There are the other items like uh, the anti thesis weapons that are pretty highly sought after as well and I think many players will actually appreciate it if they come back uh, to the game one day and for number two on the list I would really really like to see in-game hints for harder story bosses aka story bosses with a unique mechanic that you can't beat just by simply uh, cruising your way through it one example is the doom amulet as you guys can see here so for regular players or the more casual players that uh, probably do not watch Dragon Fable on YouTube that probably do not know anything about the forums or the uh, Dragon or any of the Discord servers they do not know where to get help and neither do they know how to beat all these tougher story bosses you can see uh, with all the mechanics like this you definitely cannot uh, just you know cheese through it as easily as you can with many of the other regular bosses another example of the harder storyline bosses will probably be the heart of cryo m okay this is another really uh i would say more i wouldn't say difficult okay for someone who has uh experience in doing the in challenge out in challenges i would say it's a more mechanically complex uh monster as compared to the rest of the uh, regular bosses that you get which are just uh, huge meat shields with a large damage output and no real mechanic whatsoever i find that having in-game hints is very important especially for monsters that are basically essential to the storyline so if it's not part of the main storyline i get that maybe it's not so important but for monsters that are part of the main storyline that requires you to get past the monster before you are able to 
progress on i think that's very important you know what i'm saying and for how cryo m yes there is an easy option that you can select but i find that that is really not the way to go i find that uh players should start to learn the mechanics of bosses and not just hope that uh, every single boss is a easy boss of course there are there is the in for players who want to challenge themselves with tough challenges and uh, most players really play dragon fable for its uh, amazing storyline and uh, great storytelling content but the thing about this is uh players should still learn how to get past the bosses and it shouldn't be the case of i'm just going to dumb the boss down by making the fights easier rather you know have some in-game hints whereby uh it tells you the boss's mechanics or maybe it uh suggests a specific class that you could use to take on the boss or um suggesting a specific strategy that you can use to defeat the boss you know think small things like that that can help the player learn the mechanics of the boss and beat the boss by itself because uh you do get a sense of accomplishment uh through defeating the boss by yourself and learning its mechanics rather than you know just going on youtube and copying a uh, video you know what i mean so yeah that's it for my number two One. And last but not least, number one. I'm not sure if you guys saw this coming from a mile away, but I really can't find anything else to put at the number one spot. Flash Weaver class. That's right, guys. This class has been hyped up, talked about, and basically anticipated for many, many years in the making. So it's been a good few years since we saw the end of the entire uh, Flash Weaver uh Atomic Saga, Soul Weaver Saga, whatever you call it. But you know, uh, we've been waiting for Flash Weaver ever since and it still has not come out yet. I get that it's sort of a side project for the team and the Dragon Favor team is already very small and overworked as it is with uh, mainly just Dove and Verdi doing all of the uh, technical stuff and of course they have a few artists helping them to uh, draw and come up with uh, some pretty amazing items but for mostly the uh, programming and coding part is just Dove and Verly. So I get that if they don't have enough time uh, to do it because the main releases on every single week does take precedence over Flash Weaver but you know I really hope that maybe they can take a few weeks off and you know just fully work on this class and get it out because it's been we've been waiting for it for so many years and uh, the hype still hasn't died down i would say that everybody is still waiting very excitedly for flash fever in last year's april fools we did get a little glimpse of it uh, not really a glimpse but you know they basically trolled us with a meat version of soul weaver okay some people term it the meat weaver whatever you call it but uh we've been waiting for a very very long time for flash fever to come out and i certainly hope that it comes into the game uh, hopefully next year i don't really know like there is still the new uh, calendar class that they have to work on next year which is the dragon bite epoch class but i hope that they can find some time out of their busy schedule and uh, finally get the flash weaver done it may be the start of the year middle of the year end of the year i don't really know but if we can see next year boy we are still really excited i really hope that it will come to the game one day you know we can just pray cross our fingers and hope that uh, we will see Flash Weaver one day and it's probably still one of the most hyped up and uh, most wanted item inside of the entire Dragon Fable. So that is it for my top 10 list. Let me know what you guys think of this list. Do you agree with this or disagree with any of the uh, stuff that I wanted? Okay, and if not, uh, if you don't agree with me, do let me know why down in the comments below. And that basically uh, sums it up for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.